It's true what they say, life comes at you fast sometimes. One moment you could be helping to clear up your restaurant after a long day of work, and the next... Oh, who else didn't see that one coming? Seems like the staff of this Italian restaurant weren't going to get away with clocking off without waving goodbye. <laughs> If you want to find out exactly what happened in this shocking clip, plus a whole host of eye-popping internet content, then buckle up and stick around for this edition of Things You Will See for the First Time in Your Life. Airports can be seriously mind-numbing places. All that waiting around and constant queuing means most of us are on autopilot mode as we go through the motions. But if there's one thing capable of making your time at the airport a little more exciting, it's a bunch of stowaway crabs making a dash for it at the baggage reclaim area. This scene of absolute chaos was captured by a passenger waiting for their luggage at Linden Pindling International Airport in the Bahamas Airport back in June 2014. As everyone stood around trying to spot their suitcase, one of the ice boxes coming down opened, unleashing a horde of panicked live crabs on the crowd. As some passengers can be seen helping staff to collect the runaway crustaceans, others can be heard screaming, laughing, and snapping photographs as the crabs make a desperate dash for customs. <laughs> but the real hero in this situation is the person who decided to whip out their smartphone and capture the whole thing on film so we can laugh at it all these years later. The rainforest is one of the most richly populated habitats on Earth. Among the dense trees and plant life, you'll find a whole host of colorful creatures swinging from branches, foraging in the undergrowth, or flying through the treetops. But there are plenty of critters you've probably never even heard of before. Like this little fella. Allow me to introduce you to the leafhopper nymph captured up close in this clip by wildlife photographer and rainforest enthusiast David Weiler. This tiny, hairy green creature measures around 15 millimeters in length and was filmed in Rio Claro, Colombia, but there are at least 20,000 described species of leafhoppers that can be found all over the world. These tiny insects are plant feeders, and as you can see, their bright green bodies are covered in hair, which are coated in a secretion that acts as a carrier of pheromones and water repellent. But what's all the moving and shaking about? Is this little bug attempting to impress the ladies with his rendition of the cha-cha slide? As hilarious as that sounds, it's not quite the case. This rhythmic side-to-side -side horizontal peering movement is actually vital in helping the leafhopper nymph to see the world. These bodily hairs allow them to estimate the distance of objects around them and to create a composite picture of their surroundings. This behavior is known as velocity parallax and is vital for animals like the leafhopper nymph that have a primitive vision system compared to us humans. Can you imagine how hilarious it would be if we saw the world this way? The leafhopper nymph isn't the only creature David Weiler has been able to get an up-close look at during his rainforest adventures in Rio Claro. Just take a look at this walking fluffy snowflake? Surely this has to be one of the most bizarre creatures you've ever laid your eyes on. This oddly shaped critter is known as the plant hopper nymph. On first glance, it's pretty hard to make head or tail of the plant hopper nymph, which looks kind of like a child's scribble brought to life. But here's the catch, it's all just an elaborate ruse. What you're actually seeing here is a type of tiny nymph which is able to produce a wax-like substance from special glands on its normally flat body. The plant hopper nymph then carries around its newly formed waxy protrusion as camouflage and protection for their soft bodies. You might be thinking, surely making yourself bigger only makes it easier for predators to spot you, right? But here's the thing, if a potential predator does bite the soft protrusion, the insect is most likely to be able to escape and get away unharmed. Of course, it'll lose its waxy protection, but that will grow back, while its vulnerable body will not. What a clever little bug! 
Who doesn't love ice cream? Their soft serve, tubs, and cones to choose from, and of course, the internet's latest obsession, rolled ice cream. This super cool frozen dessert originated in Thailand under the name Thai Rolled Ice Cream, or stir-fried ice cream, and by 2015, the United States had picked up on the trend, renaming it rolled ice cream or ice cream rolls. It works by stirring, slicing, and dicing a liquid mixture of milk, cream, and sugars on a super cold, flat metal ice pan with metal spatulas to fuse the flavors and introduce air for a lighter texture. And when I say cold, I mean really cold, around negative 30 degrees Celsius, in fact. Once this satisfying process is complete, the result is rolls of smooth, semi-solid ice cream, or gelato. You can incorporate pretty much any flavor into topping you like into the dessert. But how would you feel about egg ice cream? Hold up, this can't be real. Which twisted mind would come up with such a thing? Well, you can thank Helados Roll on YouTube for this extraordinary creation. In fact, this channel is dedicated to making ice cream rolls using all sorts of strange ingredients from Takis to Monster Energy. To create these eggy ice cream rolls, they first peel two boiled eggs, then slice them with metal spatulas over the metal pan before adding milk. As it begins to freeze, the mixture is sliced, diced, and scraped repeatedly over the pan until it vaguely resembles something like ice cream. Finally, the uh, <laughs> dessert is spread thinly and sliced into equal strips, which can be rolled up into perfect spirals. Slices of boiled egg are added as a topping, and voila, you've just made a dessert Satan himself would be proud of. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Confess your crimes down in the comments below. And if you've come across any weird, wonderful, or amazing things online that you feel needs to be shared with your fellow netizens, get in touch at clips at beamaze.com. You might even earn yourself a shout-out if it gets featured in a future episode. Now, let's get back to it. High-octane sports like paragliding are enough to make anyone's heart jump into their mouths. Sure, having a view of the world around you as you drift gracefully through the skies must be something special, but it's the whole having to land thing that really gets my heart racing. In March 2019, one paraglider in Australia had been gliding cross-country for two hours near the capital city of Canberra when he realized he was flying over the last cleared valley where he could safely land before he entered an area of wilderness and trees. Eventually, he decided to land on the concrete slab of the old Auroral Space Tracking Station, but he was so focused hard on his landing that he failed to spot an uninvited guest creeping up on him. Hey, fuck. Uh, fuck. Go away. Only in Australia, am I right? Apparently, the paraglider initially thought that the creatures were just being curious and friendly when they ran over to check out his landing, but the tables quickly turned as one of the kangaroos lunged at him twice. If these iconic animals could speak, I bet they'd be saying, You just landed in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. Many people see large male kangaroos as placid grazing animals, but the truth is they can be aggressive towards people if you get on their bad side, and they pack quite a kick too. Thankfully, the paraglider from this clip escaped unharmed after the animals hopped off and was picked up by a friend after walking several kilometers to get phone reception. Can you imagine picking up that call? Aye, can you come get me? I just fell out of the sky and got attacked by an angry kangaroo. Ah, snow. It's so magical, right? I'm talking snow angels, snowball fights, and sledding the day away. But this frosty weather isn't always so soft and fluffy. Sometimes it can be totally destructive, too. This massive, slow-moving avalanche plowed its way through a parking lot in the northern Caucasia Republic of cabardino balkaria in March 2018, and it's safe to say it was not a great day for anyone who happened to have left their cars there. Avalanches like this one can occur when a thick layer of snow that is built up on a steep slope collapses, causing it to slide downhill as it builds up speed along the way. 
Unfortunately, this particular parking lot happens to be located right at the foot of Russia's Mount Elbrus, which is the highest mountain in Europe and the 10th most prominent peak in the world at a whopping 18,510 feet. By the time the avalanche had ground to a halt, almost all of the cars were covered in a thick layer of snow and ice, and many of them seemed to be damaged beyond repair. Thankfully, the avalanche stopped just short of hitting any major infrastructure, and no one was badly hurt. You might notice that some of the snow has an orangish tint, but this isn't a sign of the impending apocalypse. It's actually the result of sand and dust stirred by storms in the Sahara of North Africa. After those particles were transported to Europe via the wind and combined with snow in the atmosphere, it fell to the ground over Mount Elbrus. Looks like it's not just yellow snow you should avoid eating, kids. Insect phobia, also known as entomophobia, is one of the world's most common fears. For many of us, the thought of wriggling, crawling, or buzzing insects is enough to send shivers down our spine. But there are plenty of brave-hearted insect lovers out there who have no trouble handling creepy crawlies like it's nothing. Adrian Kazakiewicz, aka Insect House, is one of those people. This enormous grub might look like a gross toy, but it's about as real as they come. It's called the Hercules larva, and it's easy to see why. Each wriggling beast can grow up to 11 centimeters in length and can weigh more than 100 grams. That's about the same as a newborn kitten. Can you guess what this gruesome grub turns into when it's all grown up? That would be the Hercules beetle, a species of rhinoceros beetle native to the rainforests of Central America, South America, and the Lesser Antilles. Growing up to three and a half inches in length, the Hercules beetle is one of the largest flying insects in the world. Like other beetles, they start life as an egg. Then they hatch into a larva and will remain that way for over a year, growing, eating, and growing some more until they are ready to pupate. The question is, would you dare to pick one up? What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you at work? Maybe one too many snooty customers tipped you over the edge, or you got heaped with a bunch of paperwork at 4.30 p.m. on a Friday evening? Whatever it may be, I bet it's not quite as bad as what went down at a resort restaurant in Odenzano, Italy back in 2018. This surveillance footage shows five members of staff at the Bagni Maddalena Resort restaurant washing the floor and tidying up at the end of their shift on the evening of October the 29th when heavy wind and rain starts battering the restaurant's exterior. Before they know it, a massive wave crashes through the restaurant's window as some of the staff rush to try and secure them. Despite their best attempts, the doors immediately give way as the waves sweep one of the employees across the dining room while another leaps onto the bar. Powerful storms in Italy in late October 2018 had triggered landslides and raised thousands of hectares of forests in the north. Arenzano, a coastal town in the metropolitan city of Genoa in northern Italy, faces the Ligurian Sea, leaving the resort at the mercy of the deadly weather front. In fact, a regional Italian meteorological agency warned that winds reached 150 kilometers an hour, while waves almost 20 feet high were recorded. Thankfully, no one was badly injured, although restaurant proprietor Giovanna De Monte was hospitalized after being cut by the broken glass. Let's just be grateful the restaurant wasn't full of diners. Talk about fresh seafood. There's a reason why the phrase scaredy cat exists. As we all know, cats are naturally jumpy animals who are frightened of pretty much anyone or anything who confronts them. Still, they like to try their luck by sneaking up on smaller animals like mice and birds. But it seems like this Moggy bit off a bit more than he could chew. You may not be able to see his face, but you can totally tell just by the way this cat is standing that he's having instant regrets about mistaking this owl for a tasty snack. We usually think of owls as nocturnal creatures, so it's pretty rare to see one out in the daytime like this. That's why the owner of this feline from the village of Aijam in Belgium knew they had to grab their smartphone and press record when they spotted this bizarre standoff in their own backyard. 
When faced with potential threats, owls have been known to puff up their bodies and extend their wings to appear bigger, and to try and intimidate the other animal into backing down. Owls are pretty voracious predators and mostly live on a diet of various smaller creatures like insects, mice, rats, and fish, although some owls even hunt larger critters like hares. According to the cameraman, the owl in this clip eventually flew away once it was satisfied that the cat wasn't a threat. Seems like this four-legged feline had a pretty lucky escape. What's your favorite breakfast food? When it comes to treating yourself in the morning, there's only two standout choices. Waffles, or my personal favorite, pancakes. Of course, there are plenty of different types of pancakes to pick, but have you ever seen one like this before? What are these beautiful little fluffy clouds from heaven, I hear you ask? Well, my friend, these are Japanese souffle pancakes, wonderfully demonstrated here by Yummy Yummy on YouTube. The ingredients for souffle pancakes are pretty similar to regular pancakes – eggs, milk, sugar, and so on – but the eggs are the real MVP in this recipe. To make them, egg yolks and egg whites are separated, and the whites are beaten until stiff peaks form, much like when you make a meringue. Next, the beaten whites are folded gently and carefully into the rest of the batter, which has been made by whisking milk and vanilla with the egg yolks until thick and frothy. The pancakes maintain their pillowy, fluffy texture because the air bubbles hold their shape inside the pancake batter, making them super airy, just like souffle. The whole process is super satisfying to watch. Just look how they plop so perfectly onto the hot pan. Once they started to set and get a golden coloring on one side, they're gently flipped over and left for a few more minutes until they're ready to be served. These wobbly pillows of deliciousness are then plated up with a topping of strawberries, whipped dessert, a dainty garnish, dusting of icing, sugar, and syrup. Anyone else salivating all of a sudden? Do you ever get the feeling that you're not alone while swimming in the ocean, like you're just moments away from being engulfed by some terrifying creature from the deep? Anyone who suffers from thalassophobia, the fear of the ocean, might just want to look away now. This incredible footage was captured by 18-year-old drone operator Peyton Landus in Dana Point, south of Los Angeles, in November 2019. Although the dark shape approaching this group of surfers looks pretty ominous at first, it soon becomes clear that it's nothing but a gigantic but docile whale, which had been swimming near the coast moments before Landus grabbed his camera. After following the whale for two miles from his house to Dahani State Beach, Landus was able to capture the moment the graceful creature came up for air right underneath the surfers, who were awaiting a wave. At first, the group seemed totally oblivious to the creature until it blew a stream of water from its blowhole and flicked its tail, as if to say, hey dudes, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. In fact, this awe-inspiring creature appears to be a harmless juvenile gray whale, which begin to make their annual migration south to Baja at this time of year. So this once-in-a-lifetime experience was certainly more of an honor than a get-out-of-the-water-quick situation for these lucky surfers. Here's a strange question for you. What's the largest number of cows you've ever seen in one place? 10? 50? How about this many? To save you from counting them individually, that's 1,300 cattle all swarming around a single water truck. This mind-boggling clip, which was filmed via drone, took place in August 2018 on a farm owned by Amber Lee in New South Wales, Australia. But why are this many cattle gathering in one place? Did Leah not have enough water to go around? The answer is no. In fact, no one in South Wales did. That's because this surprising event took place during one of the worst dry spells Australia had faced in decades. Leah even admitted that she had to drive more than four hours away to collect the water just to keep her cattle alive. At the time, 100% of New South Wales had been declared drought-affected, meaning watering points or allocated watering troughs on the farm were too low, and mills had stopped pumping. 
The Bureau of Meteorology also revealed that most of New South Wales had received less than 20% of its usual rainfall since January, while Australia as a whole experienced its warmest and driest July in 20 years. Farmers and livestock owners were hit particularly hard by the deadly summer, and this clip is a perfect reminder. The funny thing is that these starving cattle act with far more manners than most of the idiots who rush to the supermarkets at the height of the pandemic. Now, there's something to think about. What's the most impressive thing your dog can do? Can it sit, roll over, or give you a high five? How about herding a group of ducks into a hoop? This incredible display of teamwork took place at the Putnam County Fair in the city of Cookville in Tennessee in August 2019. In herding groups, each dog has a different role to play. The headers, or fetching dogs, keep livestock in a group and go to the front to stop the animal's movement, while the healers, or driving dogs, keep the animals pushing forward. To whip the ducks into shape, the three border collies start by forming a triangular shape around them to drive them in the middle. Once they've got them surrounded, each pup takes it in turns to inch forward slightly, closing the space between themselves and the ducks. But just when they think they've got them, the crafty birds break free again. <laughs> Thankfully, one of the collies manages to wrangle them back in line, using small but stern movements to push them further and further back, until the whole group stands perfectly inside the hoop. If you didn't already know, Border Collies are known as herding dogs or working dogs, which means they were specifically developed for herding livestock like sheep or cattle. All herding behavior is modified predatory behavior. This means that, through selective breeding, humans have been able to minimize the dog's natural inclination to treat cattle and sheep as prey, while simultaneously maintaining their hunting skills. The result is a perfect herding machine that won't see your livestock as snacks. Art comes in all different shapes and sizes. Some of it you can hang on your wall, while other forms are a little more immersive. Did anyone else's brain suddenly stop working for a moment while watching that? Of course, it's not exactly what it looks like. This regular-sized woman hasn't really gone all Alice in Wonderland to shrink herself down next to this giant pastel bathroom. In fact, this is the eye-popping anamorphic street art by artist, 3D painter, and muralist Leon Keir titled Fake News. And if you haven't quite got that yet, take a closer look at the toilet paper. Over the years, Keir has created a whole host of weird and wonderful 3D art in major cities all over the world, in places like Europe, Mexico, New Zealand, and of course the US. Just check out this adorable gator he made in Gainesville, Florida. Anamorphic art refers to artwork that uses an ingenious perspective technique to bring a distorted image to life. When the viewer approaches the artwork from a particular angle, what was once a totally flat work of art becomes a 3D masterpiece. Creative and clever. Some people have it all. Which of these incredible sights impressed you the most? If you're not quite done getting your fix of amazing content, you should totally check out one of the previous episodes in this series next. Don't forget to get in touch with me at clips at bmaze.com, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.